What's shaking guys, Magic Activator here back again for episode number two of our Pokemon Y Wonderlock. In the last episode, we got our first two Wonder Trades in as we traded off both our starter and uh, our first encounter of the game. So we've got two brand new, freshly Wonder Traded Pokemon in and uh, I actually, between uh, the last episode and this episode, I went ahead and grinded up just a little bit just to um, get both the Pokemon up to level 6. I didn't do put a grinding montage in because I didn't really think it was worth it. Um, but anyway, we're going to jump in and go over our team really quickly. And then uh, we're going to jump in and do the tutorial and get on with our adventure. So uh, remember that if you do enjoy today's episode, be sure and hit that like button down below. Force Give It Your Magic Touch because your support is greatly appreciated. But um, up front, we've got Fuzzy, our Spanish Wormple. Uh, level 6, Rock and Tackle, String Shot, and Poison Sting. And then we've got, next up is Miss Heal, our Chansey. Level 6, Rock and Pound, Tail Whip, Counter, and Seismic Toss. And I went ahead and nicknamed her Miss Heal because uh, I remember one of my friends from back in uh, junior high and high school always used Chansey. And no, I don't want to trade. I'm sorry, passerby you. But uh, anyway... Uh, he had a, always had a Chansey, and he named it Miss Heal. And so, I, you know, I like to pay homage to my friends whenever I can. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and call it Miss Heal. But, anyway. Oh, hiya, Meister. Come learn how to catch Pokemon with me, girl. I done caught two Pokemon. What you talking about? Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well... Mom and Dad may be good, but that has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch carefully, you two. I think I almost slipped into uh, Shauna's voice trying to do Serena's voice just then. Oh, man, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough because I think they're both together a lot. And uh, having to try and do both of their voices, uh, like switching back and forth, is going to be a little bit of a challenge. So uh, maybe we can be decent at that and not screw it up too much. Uh, but we're going to watch Serena try and catch this Bunnelby, and hopefully she can pull it off. I don't know. She is a pretty new trainer just like we are. But we're going to see. She's about to toss that Pokeball. Will she be able to catch this Bunnelby? I got a feeling she will. I got a feeling she will catch the Bunnelby. I got faith in her. I think she can do it. Also, this is a tutorial, so I'm pretty sure she can't fail. Boom! She got it. All right, cool. Well, anyway, 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 anyway. I just want to say, also, I was going to mention when I was going to the team recap, but I didn't. Uh, you need to check out freaking uh, Miss Heal's HP, dude. It is absolutely insane. Wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball. Shauna, what do you think your Finnegan is inside of right now? Here, I'll share some Pokeballs with the two of you. I don't think that's the exact same voice I gave her earlier, but... Anyway, hold on. Let me see if I can find it again. Pokeballs! Do you think I can catch Pokemon with them too? Sure, you can catch a Pokemon around here just by throwing a Pokeball near them. I think that's a little bit closer. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it and then we'll become friends. That's not a way to make friends, Shauna, throwing things at them. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger too. Good luck! All right, cool. So that being said, we are ready to journey, to adventure. And go ahead and go have our first battle that's not against Shauna. And um, get our second encounter of the game, hopefully. Hopefully we won't screw it up in the uh, Santa Loon Forest. We can get an encounter and get another Wonder Trade going for us. So, uh, you know, I should probably be fighting anything I run into just for the precious experience we're gonna battle this guy hopefully he's not too uh too high of a level here when two trainers eyes meet a pokemon battle must begin that's not the appropriate voice for a youngster but that's what i gave him so that's your voice austin youngster austin he's gonna lead with the zigzagoon he's gonna lead with the zigzagoon we're gonna lead with fuzzy all right fuzzy you got this you got this fuzzy I'm so bad at coming up with Wurmple nicknames. I mean, like, I have to catch them all the time. And yet, I can't ever, like, think of a good nickname for them. Like, I always end up catching Wurmples, but I never have good nicknames for them. So, 
It's always something really, really lame. And also, it's hard to nickname a Wurmple when you don't know what it's going to evolve into, you know? I wish there was a little bit more of a surefire way to, like, know. I know there are theories on to why a Wurmple evolves into either Silcoon or Cascoon, but I am not sure at all. Dude, I don't know what it is. Every time I sit down to record a series or, you know, a video just in general, it seems like my nose just starts itching like crazy. And I feel like the fact that I actually scratch it probably makes it itch all the more, but we're slowly whittling down this Zigzagoon. There we go. So that's going to be some sweet experience for uh, Fuzzy here. And uh, you should have told me that you were that strong, dude. I got a Wurmple, bro. I got a Wurmple. You, say, you think I'm strong because I got a Wurmple? You're not cut out for this. You're not cut out for this business. Or maybe you're saying, like, I'm the strongest Wurmple trainer that you've ever fought. In which case, I will take that as a compliment. Wait off, let's walk together! Can we not? I feel like something exciting will happen if I stay by you. I'll heal your Pokemon whenever you want me to. Well, I mean, if you're going to be here and annoying me anyway, you can heal my Pokemon. I will let that happen. All right, so we're going to go here and scoop up some items really quick. And we're going to get our first encounter as well, so... It is going to be a Weedle. Weedle. A Weedle. Let's go ahead and catch this Weedle. Uh, I feel pretty confident you can take a tackle. That was a crit. That explains things. That does explain things. Okay. Jeez. I thought I just bodied this Weedle. I'm not going to lie. I thought I just bodied this Weedle. All right, Weedle, get in the Pokeball. Get in the Pokeball so we can wonder trade you off and get something powerful. Yo, I'm pretty excited that we got a Chansey, dude. I never get to use Chansey, um, like, in LPs or anything. And, like, the fact that we got one that's level one and it's, like, it's got actually, you know, okay offensive moves for a Chansey. I mean, Chansey's not an offensive Pokemon, but it's got Seismic Toss. It's got, um, uh, Pound. And counter, I mean, that's pretty that's pretty wild. But anyway, let's go ahead and nickname our uh, Weasel here. Magic Wonder Trade. Nice. And then Um, I'm going to uh go ahead and let's just go ahead and do this jazz. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's get this jazz going. I'm ready. I'm, dude, I'm so excited. Like, this is the exciting part for me of this uh, series so far is uh, actually, like, wonder trading off because, like, you know, the generic encounters that you get, it's kind of like, eh. But then you get to wonder trade them off and potentially get something crazy because you can get Pokemon that have been bred, uh, that have egg moves. You could get, um, you know, shiny Pokemon. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, I'm excited, but we're going to try and get this Weedle traded off. Weedle. Weedle. And, uh, we got Jazz from Scotland. Scotland. Send me something good. Send me something good. And we get a Riolu. Not bad. I'm, I'm not too mad about that. I'm not too mad about that. Uh, we'll have to see what level it is, and if I want to use it. I believe it evolves with, like, happiness in the daytime or something. Something like that. But well, let's go ahead and take a look at this Riolu. It is level 1, so we are going to be keeping it. Uh, it has Foresight, Quick Attack, and Endure. Uh, and it's a plus speed minus... It's a Jolly, so... I mean, I guess I can... You go with physical, uh, physical Lucario. I mean, it's, it can be ran either way or both. So, works for me. So, we got Riolu. I'll have to come up with a nickname for it. Hmm. I might come up with it during the episode. Riolu. What do we call Riolu? I don't know. I also do not know why I'm using this voice. Uh, let's get on out of here. G -g -g get on out of here. Get on out. <laughs> and uh sorry that's that's a song reference i make song references a lot of times in in uh 
LPs and stuff, and I feel like no one gets them. But if for some reason you know what song things, if you get catch a song reference, which I, I do make quite a lot, uh, then shout out to you because it probably means you have awesome taste in music, or at least similar to mine, which is probably not that good of uh, musical taste. But regardless, uh, you get it, so... Second imposter. That's such a harsh voice. Like I look at the uh, the audio levels when I when I do her voice, and it's just like boom, boom, boom. It's so much louder than. Look what I found, Miss uh, M. Meister. Mister, what? M. Meister, I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you might think. Is it also because you're closer to the ground? Because you're pretty you're pretty short, at least compared to. All the other characters. Well, I don't know. Trevor's pretty short, I guess. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to switch our buddy Riolu up to the front. And, uh... I feel like I'll probably end up calling you Blue Note. I'll probably end up calling you Blue Note. I think Nappy calls a Lucario Blue Note sometimes. I think I might go with that. I don't really have Lucario nicknames. Despite how popular Lucario is, Lucario's not really one of my favorites, to be honest. He's kind of like, I don't know. He's pretty popular. Like, Lucario, to me, is almost like the secondary mascot of Pokemon these days. At least that's what it feels like. And, I mean, I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. I'm just not the hugest fan of it. I mean, Lucario's in, like, every Pokemon. He's in, he's in uh, Pokemon Tournament. He's in Smash. Uh, so, I mean, he's obviously a fairly popular character. He even was, like, one of the... I think he was actually one of the first 4th um, Gen Pokemon revealed. I know he was in the... He had, like, the movie. Like, he, like, he shared the... I don't know, remember which number Pokemon movie it was, but Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. That was, I think that was the name of that movie. Um, so, like, Lucario's pretty popular, but I don't know. I just, I just, I don't love him. I don't hate him, but I just don't, like, love him as much as other people seem to. Maybe that makes me a bad person. Maybe that makes me a bad person. But, anyway... Uh, wearable goes to level 7, which is what I was hoping to get done right there. And uh, Nice and Riolu is going to level up just a little bit. So I'm going to switch back into Riolu for just a moment. And then we will probably devil into, uh, double into uh, Miss Heal here. Oh yeah, you'll definitely level up. You'll definitely level up again. You will definitely level up again. So let's go into Miss Heal. And I want you to look at this HP stat. We are level 6! Calm down, that HP is too high. That HP is too high. That's all it is to it. That HP is too gosh darn high. Watch this. Watch me whip. That's what it looks like whenever um, Chansey goes for a pound. It's just like, watch me whip. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. So watch me whip. Boom. Watch me nay nay. Alright. I'm sorry, why did I bring that up? I think because uh, I, I, I went to a wedding this weekend and they played that song at the reception. <laughs> but anyway, I may or may not have danced to it. Who's to say? But I probably did. Just not out in front of everyone. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, there we go. Uh, Riolu got to level four. No, did he? Yeah, he got to level four, I think. So that's not even bad. And a Wurmple is evolving. We will now know what line of Wurmple we are rocking out with. Come on, baby. Do I want Dustox or Silcoon? I don't... Or Dustox or Silcoon? Dustox or Beautyfly? That's the real question. Honestly, I'll take either one, I guess. It seems like I get Cascoon a lot more than I get Silcoon, though. But not today! But not today! So we got Silcoon. All right. Silcoon learned Harden. 
There we go. There we go. All right. Sweet. I'm not even mad. All right. So. <laughs> Dear no. He's pretty fast. He's pretty fast. He's pretty fast. All right. So we're going to rock out here. And head up this way. Um, I don't know why I haven't healed. It's a panpo. It is a panpo. I think I'm gonna try and fight it with Riolu here and get some experience. That was solid. That was a crit. Dang. That's kind of upsetting. I was really hoping that was just like normal damage. I was like, yo, Riolu is straight up fierce. Straight up fierce. Play nice. I don't want to play nice with you. I want to quick attack you. This is not fair. That still did plenty. Look at us. I didn't even check your ability. And now we don't. Now we don't do it. I wonder if I high rolled that last time. After the attack drop. Can we finish you? Yeah! There we go. So pan four is pan no more. Got him. Anyway, level five Riolu. Rocking out. I'm pretty pretty excited. We got a pre built team now. We got a pretty, pretty stacked team. Do you have Pokeballs? I do. Also, I'm going to heal just because. Just because GP. And you're going to ask me about my mother. Why is it always about my mother with these people? All right, your Pokemon are in for a shock hmm could that be a pun maybe probably you're gonna have pikachu aren't you yup i knew somebody in here had pikachu i couldn't remember 100 for sure pick a pick -a! that was my pikachu impression did you like it probably not that's okay though i'm gonna go for a quick attack and probably get static if i had to guess and we crit I keep thinking like, oh man, we're doing solid damage, and then it's a crit. It's always a crit. I mean, if I crit that often though, like I'm not even mad about it, but hey, there we go, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Should have switched out to Wurmple and went for Poison Stings instead of doing this jazz, but nope, didn't do it, didn't do it. We breaking through the paralysis. All right. I'm sorry, Pikachu. You sounds so sad when he sounds so sad when he faints. Oh my goodness. And now we've learned counter. So now we got two bonds with counter. That's kind of broken. Also, that does remind me because I think there's a. Jeez, calm down, Riolu. Gosh, diggity. Darn, that was a lot of experience. That was insane. Well, let's heal, because I did get paralyzed. And then, let's go over here. I think, you're the, I think you're actually the last trainer that I have to battle. So, not too shabby. Last, Lise. Lisa? Lise? Riolu. Why am I leading with you? You're level 8 now, bro. Oh, well, well, we'll get rid of this thing real quick, like. That type of wasn't crit. If you poison me. Hashtag black magic. Let's go ahead and quick attack this dude again, because he is a jerk. He is also a female. Female Weedle. Female all right well as you can see that went incredibly well for us let's go ahead and swap into this heal and we will put in work i think it's kind of cool that uh that missile is japanese japanese all right let's go ahead and I probably should counter you, honestly. Just click counter. Oh, you're gonna leer me. Oh, you're gonna leer me. Alright, I'm gonna click counter. You went for agility. You went for agility. 
Yup. Yup, 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 yup. There we go. See, that wasn't a lot of damage to us, but that was a lot of damage to you. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. All right, cool. So we're level seven. So our team's leveling up pretty nicely. They're pretty evenly spread right now, which is good. I like that. I'm also gonna ask you to heal me. Luckily, uh, in this generation, poison doesn't hurt you outside of battle, which is one of the things, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's convenient in Nuzlocke's because now at least you don't die on the, like by walking, but at the same time, it's like, it's been like a mechanic that's always been there to some degree. It's just kind of weird walking around and not being hurt by poison. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of, um, like, it's kind of just like an expected thing. And by expected, I mean that I forget that I got poisoned in battle and that I walk and take poison damage, you know? Because that's always what tends to happen whenever I do it. But let's go ahead and scoop up this potion. Scooping up the potion. I'm gonna get this potion, and then we're gonna head right on up here. Where uh, we will meet our friends. So you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor is someone with a lot of potential. The way Pokemon move is just incredible. I wanna show off some of that spirit when I dance. Jerno, could you think of something besides how Pokemon move for once? We're all here! Let's go to Santa Loot City! Alright. And this is one of my favorite parts here. I love this. The crew walking out of the forest together. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of cool. Route 3. What are you all going to do? Why, look for Pokemon, of course. <laughs> um, The professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex after all. And furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. To put it another way, it's a chance to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet different Pokemon will use different moves. I sure want to see lots of moves. Dance moves! <laughs> what do you gotta do, Serena? I'm going to the Santa Loon City Gym and challenging the gym leader. You see, Pokemon trainers find out how good they really are by challenging the leaders in Pokemon Gems. Wow, you sure know a lot! It's because mom and dad taught me so much. Here, I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down 10 different tips every trainer should know. Adventure rules. Here's one for you. Adventure rules is a bit of an oxymoron because there should not be rules on an adventure. You should make up the rules as you go. If you're puzzled about something, try looking in these rules. All right, so Serena is dipping out. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna spend some time getting to know my little Finnegan. What are you gonna do, Enmeister? I'm gonna get the heckles away from you. But before I do that, I'm gonna get the heckles out of here because uh, that is gonna do it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy this episode. As always, we got a new uh, team member added up. And in the next episode, we'll be getting a new encounter, Wonder Trading off another mine, and hopefully making a little bit more progress. But for now, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I, I messed up my new outro. Redo, I'm going to make like an abra and get out of here. Have yourselves a good day. Stay cool, and we will catch you next time.